Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Viathan here. I've got another poem for you. This one I just wrote legit 15 minutes ago I completed it. So I'm going to say it right without further ado. And then we will um, yeah, we'll go into the titles and stuff. And you can contact me. Everything will be in the show description anyway. So here it goes. Walking hand in hand together. A beautiful, clear, starry night. We stroll together. Your eyes sparkling like stars in the sky. Your smile brightens the dark night. Your love and happiness, our love and happiness, a peaceful bliss that flows between us. It warms both of our hearts, especially my heart. It warms my heart just now remembering this time. This moment, even when we are apart, I still feel that love, that happiness, that joy that just brightens up my, my eyes and brings a smile to my face. I still feel that love, that happiness. When we were last together, I remember it so clear as if it happened yesterday. We rounded a corner as we were walking. And we sat down on a marble stone wall. You put your shoulder, your head against my shoulder. I put my head against your head. And we stared out to the sky, seeing the stars and the moon. The moonlight that shined orange like the harvest, the harvest moon that it was that night. We looked out over those trees and at that orange harvest moon that night, two stars shined, one on either side of the moon. At least it looked like starlight to, to us. You, you said those stars are you and me, and that moonlight is our love shining in the middle, shining so bright, bringing out the light in the darkest of times. We both looked at each other, and together we said our favorite quote, in, darkness of, in the darkest of times, with patience and love, we can work through. We can shine the light of love between us and make everything all right. You smiled. And you grabbed to hold my hand in yours and cuddled close. I remember kissing the top of your head that night as you sat by and stared at me, and we, st or stared at the moonlight rather, and then you look towards me, I look towards you. Your eyes, they were like globes, orbs that shine so bright. Gold tinge that just circled around your eye just brightened that night. We stared out at the stars that night <laughs> and we were telling each other stories as we looked at each of them, making plans on what the uh, what was going on. What were the little creatures or big creatures doing? Mm, we made up our own little characters and told funny stories of what was going on on each of those stars that night. Maybe there were other planets like ours we did not know of back then. <laughs> but we laughed and we enjoyed such small talk, such talk rather, of, of such happenings. The warmth of your smile that night as you stared into my eyes and smiled as you told your stories and I told mine. It still fills me with a warmth to this day, even on the coldest of nights in the coldest of days 
in the distance that night. We saw down the street a lady beating a guy with a crowbar, her guy, for having cheated on her. She turned towards me. She grabbed my head, my face in your hands. And you told me, you made me promise. You said, promise me. Promise me. That you'll never cheat on anyone. You swear you love to. Now I know that's not how your dad raised you the time I've spent with you and from the things that you've told me. And though I know you would never cheat on someone that you care about, promise me just the same, she said. And I promised her that night. I said, I promise this to you. A promise made, a promise ever since kept, I've kept ever since. That no love will I ever betray. And no relationship will I ever cheat on. For that I've ever kept since that night. I warmly reflect so many years later the warmth of that love that we shared, the innocence, the peace of it all that still surrounds me to this day. Not physical, more like energetical. That night, I walked you home. I kissed you for the first time on the lips that night. I wished you pleasant dreams. You held me so close and said you'd never wanted to let go. And I wish I never did, because never knowing as I walked home that night, it would be the last time that I would ever see you again. You were never there at that house, nor was any member of your family ever again after that night. The warmest of love in the darkest of night starry night and every night since then when I've looked out I've seen a moon like that behind me but more of an orange I always call it the harvest moon because it was a harvest moon that night seeing those two stars shined on either side lower part of the moon to the left and to the right always makes me think of you always makes me wonder whatever happened to you. I can only pray that you're happy and love and find found happiness throughout your life. God bless to all of you out there who have seen this. Good health and good fortune. God, if you don't believe in God, may goddess or whatever you do believe in you bless you with many blessings, many good fortunes, and above all those, good health and happiness and joy of life and love of life. Love thyself. Take care of you all. Peace and blessings. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Take care.